Why are you having me talk about a musical? This is this is me we're talking about. You know, the last musical I probably watched was probably Skullhead Face or something. Hello, everyone. I'm Mecca. Was that a musical? Am I thinking of that one or something? I am your favorite YouTube consumer advocate, Harpy. And yeah, like I said, it's been about 30 years since I've actually sat down and watched a musical with the exception of maybe Willy Wonka or something. I'm not a musical fan. I don't know why you wanted me to talk about this, but apparently... Apparently the Heights is painful. All right, all right, let's let's just listen. Washington Heights. Congratulations on In the Heights. It was a lovely musical. But as a black woman of Cuban descent, specifically from New York City, it would be remiss of me. All right. That's one of these where they talk about here's my label and label and label and I worship this altar at this god. And even though it's not a god that we're worshipping, we're worshipping the wokier than thous of this whole quest to try and be morally superior to everybody by label, 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 label. Is that- so this isn't for me. This isn't for me. Alright, so it's a musical. Let's hear what- what label and, um, Skin Deep here has to say. ...to not acknowledge the fact that most of your principal actors were light-skinned or white-passing Latinx people. So you're a racist who only sees people based on the color of their skin. Got it. Can you tell me their names? For crying out loud. Can you tell me their names? Sorry for the headphones there. I'll try and minimize that. I didn't realize I was getting a thought. Can you for once just tell me your name? Something. Give me some indication as to why I care. Because if I'm told that this is some movie or TV show for representation only, then it's clearly not for me. And clearly I shouldn't even be speaking about it. But who who has? Who has? Well, Lin-Manuel Miranda has about the lack of... Uh, Afro-Latino representation. Uh, let, let, let me let me let me look. Let me look at this real quick. Like, like let's let's look at this. So here's here's our cast. Here's what the cast looks like. I know well that's that's rap. Very diverse there. Now that we're actually counting and looking at only the skin deep superficial things. So welcome to 1962 when people had different what which call just tell me which water fountain to drink out of since we're going backwards in time like this and, and not you know treating people as equals so so they're mad this this uh, this i don't even know this person's name this black afro i don't know i don't know what is their name i don't think they said they're upset because there's not representation of darker skinned people so brown isn't dark enough for them I guess I, I, you know, I can't pretend to be the target audience of this in any way, shape, or form, but he's apologizing. He apologized because as a diversity himself, his diverse film filled with diversities wasn't diversity, diverse, diverse, diverse. Wasn't diverse enough for the diversity token. All right. I'm glad we've solved world hunger, climate change, um, every other issue under the sun, where we're now focused on if something that is filled with representation and diversity has dark enough features or do the people pass as light? Uh, you know, it couldn't be anything about a lighting issue or anything like that because I've, I've had people tell me who work in the industry that certain certain people like like if you have somebody like me i am impossible to light because i am day glow and i'm aware of that i'm very very pale you also have the other the other spectrum where if you were ha to have somebody and we're going to talk about this too that's that's a hint a sneak peek of my my next video if you have something w with the case of a very much darker featured person their features blend in in the shadows i can't see this beautiful actress's face because of these things so is is this really something that the people on twitter or the people interviewing these people might have considered might have considered in in a lot of this especially in this day and age where everything looks like it's filmed in the dark i mean not so much this in the one little scene that we've seen here are there any more scenes that we can look at? Okay, this is an indoor scene. 
This is an indoor scene filled with... I guess, I guess maybe I'm just the wrong ethnic background and I don't judge people based on the superficial. I try and judge people based on if they're a decent person or not. Maybe I'm not the person to ask. You know who? We'll, we'll ask somebody else. We'll ask somebody what they thought of him and I did not snap that incorrectly. We'll ask Rita Moreno here. Now, who's Rita Moreno? Longtime actress of the stage and screen. Was she in... Was she in West Side Story, I want to say? Probably. Was she? I know she goes back. She goes back for a while in Hollywood land. Rita Moreno defends Lin-Manuel Miranda over the Heights. Colorism. You can never do it right. She's basically trying to acknowledge the fact that you're going to get criticized so, for anything. On tonight's episode of The Late Show with Stephen Colbert, Moreno appeared to promote her documentary, Just a Girl, who decided to go for it and later brought up In the Heights. The controversy. Can we talk for a second about the criticism of Lin-Manuel Miranda? That really upsets me, Moreno said to Colbert. She's referring to the criticism regarding the lack of quote-unquote dark-skinned Afro-Latinos in the film's cast, particularly in the leading roles. I'm assuming that they're referring to the fact that some people from, what, from some... Ethnic backgrounds appear darker than I. Again, again. Wrong person to ask because I'm not allowed to have an opinion on this. What does she say? Online discussion on the topic over the weekend stemmed from a video article in The Root. Oh, that's, that's this article right here. It was published on Wednesday. In an interview within The Heights director John Chu and stars Leslie Grace, Melissa Barrena, and Gregory Diaz IV, journalist Felice Leon. Oh, she has a name. Is it a she? Can I say she or is it a they, them? Or do you have to refer to her as as a ethnicity first? Is that what she wants? Is it a she? See, now I'm going to be canceled because I have no idea how to refer to this person. So we'll just say person in interview who shall rename, re remain nameless. Question the film's casting decisions. She asks, what would you say to folks who say that In the Heights privileges white passing and light-skinned Latinx people? Leon asked to Chu, who replied, I would say that's a fair conversation to have. Listen, we're not going to get everything right in a movie. We tried our best on all fronts of it. I would say, I would say maybe they were casting people based on if they could sing, if they could dance, if they were actors, if they could show up, if they didn't have a schedule of like a conflict of scheduling. I would think maybe that. You can never do it right, it seems, Moreno continued. This is a man who literally has brought Latino-ness and Puerto Rican-ness to America. I couldn't do it. I would love to say I did, but I couldn't do it. Lin-Manuel has done that really single-handedly, and I'm thrilled to pieces and proud that he produced my documentary. Colbert then asked, So you're saying that while you may understand where people's concerns are from, that perhaps it's misplaced in criticizing him for this? Well, she answers, I'm simply saying, can't you just wait a while and leave it alone? Morena responded. There's a lot of people who are Puerto Rican, I don't know how to say that, from Puerto Rican descent, who are also from Guatemala, who are dark and who are also fair. We are all colors in Puerto Rico. And this is how it is. And it would be so nice if they hadn't come up with that and just left it alone for now. I mean, they're really attacking the wrong person. And on Monday, he issued an apology. So here she is talking about this. That criticism about Lynn manuel that really upsets me. Yes, I want to weigh in on this in a second, too. If you cannot listen to the actual voices of the people bringing these characters to the table, right, if people are still going to have issues with it, then maybe these people aren't going to be satisfied. Like we've been saying, maybe the wokier than nows are only concerned about fighting some, some problem, that there is not a simple solution to and that they cannot accept and acknowledge any ounce of actual progress, any ounce of actual steps in the right direction. This is the man who literally has brought Latino-ness and Puerto Rican-ness to America. I couldn't do it. Do you have glitter in your hair? Okay, that's cool. See, Rita Moreno is like a class act. She's been, like I said, she's been in Hollywood forever. And if she acknowledges the fact that this is somebody who's actually doing something. Then, then what are these people complaining about? And, of course, no good deed goes unpunished. Rita Moreno, who was praising the inclusivity, was still, was still swarmed and attacked. Is that the word? She has posted a new statement saying she is incredibly disappointed following her comments about following the lack of Afro-Latino representation in the Heights. Basically, like, like we stated in the video, she was actually supporting 
the the fact that this is such an inclusive property, such an inclusive and diverse cast that showcases a very rich and broad range of diversity. But no, like, like you cannot make these people happy. And by these people, I mean the wokeier than thous, the woke zealots. Are we at a point in history where every single person is still learning? Yes, of course. Nobody is perfect. Everybody on this planet is still learning and evolving and there's a process to all of this. That's everybody on the planet. But the immediate backlash of, and it's still not good enough, and it's still not good enough, it's still not good enough that people were receiving. So here, here's her statement. I'm incredibly disappointed with myself while making a statement in defense of Lin-Manuel Mar Miranda on the Colbert show last night. I was clearly dismissive of black lives that matter in our Latin community. It's so easy to forget how celebration for some is lament for others. You can't fit everybody on screen of every, every single, because that's the problem with representation in the first place. You're going to get to a point where you're going to just have to take a picture of the entire globe and say, see, there you are. You're on screen because you can only fit so many people on screen. You can only adjust for so many lighting issues or, you know, sound issues or whoever shows up. What if darker skinned Afro Latino people just didn't audition? What are you going to do then? She, she keeps going. In addition to applauding Lynn for his wonderful movie version of The Heights, let me add my appreciation for his sensitivity and resolve to be more inclusive of the Afro-Latino community going forward. See if you can, see you can teach an old dog this new tricks. I never took it as she was being exclusive of it. It's to the point where, you know what, maybe instead of complaining, and I try and take my own advice on this too, and I fail miserably all the time, all the time, that... Maybe instead of focusing so much all the time on all the negative of everything that's wrong, maybe you just leave it as, hey, they did something right. Maybe just leave it. Oh, I'm super close up. Maybe just leave it as they did. They got one right just for one minute. They got one right for one minute or they look how inclusive it is and just leave it at that. But they don't want to do that. I am like, I have ranted about this long enough. Can we acknowledge when people do something, I don't know, correct and actually bring you, even if the movie is garbage, I think they're just upset because the movie is garbage. That's what it really seems like to me. I'm Mecca and I will see you guys on the next video, live stream or wherever. Bye. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye. I want to go back to being weird. I like being weird. Weird's all I've got. <laughs>